Hey guys, yeah, so in today's video, I just really wanted to talk to you guys pretty much about the topic with the types of bedding that you may use for your puppies and why it matters so much because uh, one of you guys actually last night was um, texting me about it in and after that called me that saying that two of your puppies out of the five puppies like two out of five puppies were actually having eye problems and irritations and the first thing that I always ask first right is what kind of bedding are you using and I was like, what kind of what kind of bedding are you using, bro? And he was like, honestly, I'm using a, a type of cedarwood that I just bought at Walmart. And then I was in my hand, I'm like, ah, see, that's that's where it is. So the types of bedding matters a lot, especially when you're gonna be uh, whelping puppies. And guys, with me, I like to go old school. I like to use my old clothes or socks or just you know my brother's clothes, my dad's clothes, my mom's clothes. You know, I don't care. It don't matter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But. The bedding that you use matters a lot. And with me personally, I don't recommend using cedarwood, any type of cedarwood at all in the begin in the first at least three weeks of the puppies. Um, you know, when you're whelping the puppies, at least three weeks old. Uh, just because even if their eyes are closed, those dust particles in the in the fucking um in the cedarwood, like the really small cedarwood, is still going to be able to get inside their eyes and cause like irritations or itchiness or even infections and i even had this experience happen before to me even without using cedar wood even just using my old clothes shit just happens right and you don't want to like go through all like squeezing that puss out of the eyes and all that good stuff man it, it's terrible it sucks you just don't want to deal with it in the first place because you're scared that the a hey, my puppies might get blind what happens if i got to do surgery on my puppies right so that's the main thing why I wanted to talk about this today, just because that's the first question I was asked. What kind of bedding are you using? The types of cedarwood, the types of bedding matters a lot. So guys, with me, personally, what I recommend is just use your old clothes or you know what? Go to Walmart, go to your local store, buy some cheap ass tiles. It matters quite a lot when you use the types of bedding you use for your puppies. It matters, it really does. These, these little things matter a lot because we don't really subconsciously think about it, right? Like he he told me he was like, hey, I thought the small ones were actually the best ones to use for for you know for little things, little puppies, little chicks, right? And I said, uh uh, it's the opposite, bro. And hey, it's totally okay, cause hey, I thought the I thought the damn same too. And uh, you guys, you know how I learned this shit was from my dad, bro. My dad, really smart, really wise man. And first time when I was buying cedarwood, he told me. Hey, when you go to the store, when you go to Tractor Supply, buy the big ass it was, the biggest you can get. And I would say, okay, well done, I will. Because what he told me, because he used to raise chickens, like beautiful birds, like old English bantams and shamos, like those Asian chickens in Thailand or Malaysia, really beautiful birds. And uh, when, he, when he used to raise chickens, he used cedarwood, the really small types of cedarwood with dusty particles everywhere, flying everywhere. It's terrible. And uh, his chickens will get, his little chicks would get irritated eyes and could get blind as well. So we kind of applied that same concept with the puppies as well. So that's, that's pretty much it. So I told him, hey, switch to your old clothes, man. Switch to your old clothes or use something. Use... You know, just use puppy pads for now if you don't if you don't got it. If the store's closed, I don't know. Just use your old clothes. Everybody's got old clothes, right? Unless you know you're you're, rock, you're rocking designer clothes, you know. So that's the way it is, man. And just these little things matter quite a lot. And guys, pretty soon, uh, I will be making another series with talking to you guys personally when I start doing Facetimes or calls with you guys. So that way, for you new future viewers out there, uh, just the kinds of common questions and types of questions i really i really do get on a daily basis bro and uh, i think it's gonna be awesome i'm trying to do research right now on how to um i was testing it last night i was record i was screen recording facetime and bro it didn't catch the damn fucking audio so i was like fuck so how do i do this so uh, i'm gonna try to get around with it because within apple's laws it's it's actually uh illegal i think or i don't know uh, it's prohibited so i'll try to make sure everything is all good with that and uh yeah i'll be down to talk to you guys hopefully um it, it'd be down to talk to you guys uh, when i do my recordings for that and uh yeah for for a new series of talking about anything it could be uh i'm actually talking to somebody uh with purple heart kennel soon pretty much about scamming and all that good stuff how did he get scammed like how did that shit happen what was going on through your mind and all that good stuff or what is going on through your mind when you're taking care of your puppies or your first litter of puppies? You know, everything, like everybody that texts me, they're going through the first litter. Or 
or they're actually going through the problems right now that actually really does happen or like dying puppies fading puppy syndrome and uh you know i, I really do want people to to know this shit beforehand right i, I really want people to know this shit beforehand because it, it's just really good it, it it's puppies animals are alive they deserve a living chance they deserve any type of living chance to survive and and yeah i get it survival of the fittest but hey if you can help it why not save it it's it's money in your pocket and i don't care if i teach you guys you know it's free knowledge for everybody hey i don't care you know more competition means it could be higher in prices or lower in prices but i know i got amazing dogs i know i can sell my dogs for the price that i wanted for and that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoy the content hopefully you guys enjoyed like pretty much learning what types of bedding you guys should use and uh yeah guys uh leave the comments down in the section below or text me personally what kind of beddings that you guys should use and yeah we'll talk about it love y'all peace Rise up and we fall